here's our seven day outlook. Well, my favorite way to describe the atmosphere is to relate it to a hamburger. And if you watch the show, we've talked about this a lot on Abrams and Bettis. So first, let me show you how the hamburger relates to the atmosphere. OK, so the surface, that is the bottom bun, and that's where we live. That's where we see surface fronts. Now you add on the meat layer, that's a little bit higher up in the atmosphere, 850 millibars. That's where we look for temperatures. You go up another layer in the atmosphere, and you have a tomato. That's 500 millibars. Bars. We look for troughs and ridges, and then you put on the top bun, and this is very high in the atmosphere. This is where we look for the jet stream, and that can actually help us when we are looking to forecast for tornadoes. So here we go. We got a hamburger for you here. So the surface is where we live, and then you add on the meat, as we just showed you, and then you add on the tomato layer, and then you add on the bun. We got a little cheese and lettuce here on the side. So this is what I always talk about. The atmosphere is like a hamburger, and I'm not eating this because it's been sitting on my desk since about noon today. So the question I asked you yesterday was what food items remind you of the weather and we got so many responses. Here are the top five that we got so far. Now tornadoes came in a few times. We got a Twitter from Backstabber who wrote, I guess tornadoes look like bugles and Jordana Williamson said that ice cream equals tornadoes or ice cream cones. So I have a couple, we have video for you here of a tornado and I want you to take a look at the shape of a tornado. And unfortunately that is the hail video, darn it. But you guys all know what tornadoes look like, right? That hail, that comes a little bit later. There we go. There's a tornado video for you. So my question is, do you agree with these two followers? And we have an ice cream cone and I have a couple bugles here. What do you think it looks like? The ice cream cone or the bugle, Twitter, Facebook, or email us. Now, our next suggestion was posted by someone who says, hailstones remind me of ice in my sweet tea. So again, number four, we just showed you some hail that was there on the ground. We can probably roll that video for you one more time, getting crunched up by a couple of uh, cars that were rolling over it. There is that hail for you. That's very small hail, as a matter of fact, but hail can get very large. It can get up to the size of really softballs and baseballs. So we got a little tea and we got some ice here to just, you know, show it off. Off here and you can barely see the ice in that tea there, but it's there and of course it's into my hand. Now let's take you on to number three. We uh, got a post from Jamie who says when you're in an airplane, overhead clouds look like cauliflower. I feel like uh, what's his face? Who's the comedian that smashes all the food? It's escaping Gallagher. That's who I feel like right now. So check out the photo taken from a plane uh, and you can see the clouds from the top and there you go. We've all seen this right if we've been in a plane looking good there and now have a look at the cauliflower. What do you think? Do you think this is better than perhaps the ice and the hail? There's a look at the cauliflower there. It looks kind of the same, doesn't it? All right, how about we go to number two now and we get to uh, one that was suggested from Mesomaniac who says Mammatus clouds look like a marshmallow topping. So here's a picture of some Mammatus clouds for you so you can see what they look like in real life. And I actually did a little project today uh, by myself. So there's a Mammatus cloud. So what I did is I took actually a bunch of marshmallows and glued them to a, a plate so you could see how it kind of resembles. A lot of people see how they hang down from the clouds. Does that kind of look like Mammatus clouds? Which are you liking so far? Those are Mammatus clouds. All right, so now we come to number one. And this we got from a lot of people, as a matter of fact. So basically, confectioner's sugar, snow on the trees and bushes look like confectioner's sugar. That was from Ernie. And also this one, certain types of snowfall reminds me of confectioner's sugar, usually the really white and fluffy stuff. So here's some video of snow for you. And there it is, it's coming down, looks pretty, kind of does look like sugar, right? So I got some confectioner's sugar. Let's see if I can make very little of a mess here and show you maybe confectioner's sugar coming down. That looks like snow, right? You can't really argue that one there. So which do you like? One, two, three, four, or five. That's a heavy snowstorm. Now the funny thing is, is when I was bringing all this into work today, I actually had the thought that confectioner's sugar reminds me of a little something else. LeBron James, James, he plays for the Cleveland Cavs, and that was tonight's top five. All right, Steph looks like you're going to be dunking Woo, in no goodness. time. <laughs>